All right, so if you clicked on this video, you want to learn how to zoom in. All right, I got you. First thing is what kind of zoom do you want? Do you want a jump zoom or a transition zoom? Well, I'm going to be showing you how to do both. So the first one we're going to be doing is jump zooming. All right, what you're going to want to do is take your slider and go find yourself the place you want to start the zoom on. Click mark in. And then go to the place you want to end the zoom. So I guess that's fine for me. And I'll click mark out. All right? Now get your razor tool and cut that off right there and cut it off right there. Alright, there's gonna be a little a little line that guides you and makes an easy cut. So then click your selection tool and then click on your clip here. And the two major ones you want to look at here are position and scale. Position will change it from left to right and up and down. But scale will zoom it in like this. Like we can zoom in like so far. Right? So I'm going to pick this, I guess. All right? Now, if you play your clip, it will look something like this. jump and then it will jump out all right that's all for jump zooming now i'm going to do transition zooming now you're going to want to do the same things you're going to want to find the start position mark in find the end position mark out razor clip it and done get the selection tool, click it, but now you want to move your slider to the beginning. All right, make sure it's the beginning. This little thing will pop up if it's beginning. And the position and scale are the important things again. Now you want to click this button for both of them. All right, now you can go to, go to the middle and then select your zoom in the amount you want do your positions and now when you play your clip it will look something like this All right now you can make the zoom faster or slower depending on where you put these two keyframes All right. so if I put them closer to the beginning it will go faster but if I put them farther, they will go slower. So I'll just show you what the slower one, or the faster one looks like right here. Boom, insta zoom. And now the slower one would look something like this. Boom, slower zoom. All right, now I'm going to show you how to transition back into this frame. Because if you leave it unattended, like this, where it zooms in, stops, it will jump back to that. Now, I mean, you can have it like that if you want, but some people probably want it to move back into this kind of position, right? So what you want to do is, see this? You want to match this one's scale and positions to the same as this one. Right, but you want to move your slider to the end, and then look at this one's position and scale. Four to seven, right? So let's put four to seven in here, and then this one is the same actually. So we don't need to change that. But say if this one had to look a different number, you want to change it to the one like that. And then the scale of this one is 100. So we'll put 100. Now it will look something like this, probably. Zooming in, zooming back out. Boom. As if nothing happened. So I hope I cleared everything up for you. I'm going to be putting a few more tutorials, sort of, on Premiere Pro. Um, not sure what yet, but. 
probably will be doing some more. All right, so I'll catch you later.